Stuart, finally it's over. We, we made our work of it though, didn't we? It was a, it was a tough game. The longest season ever goes on and on. I think we won that game three or four times and let back in three or four times and far behind you thought, is this again? Is this us again? Not gonna, we're going to blow another opportunity. It feels like we've had lifeline after lifeline after lifeline in, in the longest season ever. But obviously, we've come through the end, we've come through the end and we got the win. The most important thing today was getting the win, whether, whether we crawled to that win or whether we, we limped, scraped, whatever. We just needed to get the win and we, did, we went through the other side and we, we got the win. So. We want to be a championship club. We've now, we've now got to move this club forward and make sure we're not in this battle next year. I thought both teams today were an absolute credit to the sport. It was, it was a game no one really wanted to be involved in. Both teams carrying injuries and they put on a real show today. All the neutrals that came would have enjoyed the afternoon. Yeah, we've got a big crowd today, so really impressed with that. Obviously, big respect to the Workington crowd. They, they all come over and travelled in, in big numbers. The boys at Workington stood up and talk, talk all the week about 14, 12, 17, whatever. I told our boys to expect 17. Uh, obviously, 17 did come. I think a few of them did play injured. Fair respect to them playing injured. Uh, but on our, on our own aspect, we had players missing as well. Obviously, massive players for us. Aidan Hansen's played every game for us when he's been fit. And Mike Butts was stand out performing week in, week out. We missed, missed them people. We had people away as well. We, we try to go out about our business, uh, try and carry myself in the right manner, which passes down to my boys. And uh, there's no point coming and hourin' about who's not here. It's, it's about who is here. And, and today, both clubs got an opportunity today, which we shouldn't have really had. And it was important we took that opportunity and stayed in the championship. We've done it tough, but I don't think anyone could be in any doubt about the commitment that the 17 out there for Swinton put in. They, they weren't going to give that up, were they? No, obviously, like I say, we had to fight and fight, fight for everything. Uh, that week off last week was massive for us. Obviously, we, we limped to Butler. We had 17 players, including Tommy, which big respect to him. He put his hand up and played. We, that was our last 17. We limped into that game. We had players carrying Knox, he shouldn't be playing. We had players out there today carrying Knox, he probably shouldn't have played again. But we looked a bit stronger. We got a bit, a bit more to lean on from Wigan today. And obviously, it, it's worked out in the end for us. Uh, for, Mully was outstanding on the wing. Ryan Gray stood up, massive, about 20 carries. Obviously, stepped in, happening. Someone's got to replace what Mike Butt does, and I think he did that today. We can start to look forward to next season. All you want a bit of time off to, to relax, and you'll be here with Ireland. But a chance to start building a squad for next season. Now we finally know what division we'll be in. Yeah, we're a championship team. We need to build a championship squad. Uh, obviously, we've got to change them close games into wins our side and not be involved in the bottom end. If we can ch uh, change them, like I said, six, seven games our way, we're way out of this. But uh, th that doesn't come easy. You know, we say week in, week out. And today, again, it showed us we, we scored a try, getting front, and we dropped the set after after the, the try. How many times have we said this, this year? And we back it with a penalty. Uh, we've got to get better at it. We, we strive to get better. We've got, we've got a good group to turn up. They're honest, but we need to get better. We've, obviously, now we can recruit both our players who've done the job for us this year and obviously recruit uh, with other targets that we've identified from other squads who might be available. We are a bit behind in the recruitment drive because obviously we've been where we are and obviously there's two different budgets whichever league we're in. Uh, we finally nailed something so yeah, yeah, I can't be any happier. And finally, looking back on your first full season as Swinton coach, how do, how do you reflect on the year as a whole? Stressful. Uh, no, I enjoy it. I enjoy what we do. I strive to be better as myself. Uh, I want to learn, I want to get better, I want my boys to want to learn and get better, we want to get better together. If you think you've, you know everything and you're never going to move, move out forward, you're just going to stay where you are. Uh, I watch rugby, I'm just going to tell you, every, when I'm at home I'm clipping games or watching other teams and uh, like I say, I, I, I want to build that knowledge base, I want to get better. Obviously, we've had a lot of adversity at this club this year and we've we, we kept quiet about a lot of the, a lot of the stuff, to be fair. Uh, again, I think that's the way to do it as a club and uh, we'll keep things in house. But uh, there's been a lot of challenges. We learn uh, as a staff, learn as a board, and we move forward. We've got to move forward each year. It's small steps. We know you think where we was last year and nearly dead and on the life support machine. To now we're, we're a championship team and we've, we've survived again. I don't want to be involved in this next year. I want, I want to, like I said, look up. There's two more teams coming into the, the league. Uh, we've got to be aiming upwards and, and, and start progressing up that league and access some more funding. Well done, Stuart. Enjoy tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Well done.